Hi everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass and I am a targeted human being. You are currently seeing me through a diffraction grating. This is a circular diffraction pattern carved into plastic. Uh, two circular diffraction gratings, one laid upon the other. In nanoscale technology, this would be called a Bragg grating. Uh, but for the rest of us with only high school or elementary school optics, we can consider this a circular diffraction pattern, a circular diffraction grating. Now, what happens when light goes through this circular diffraction pattern? Well, the light bends. It bends because it has to be forced through these little holes, these circles. And so, because there's two circles, the holes are even smaller, and the light <clears throat> polarizes in a circular fashion, which then leads to, I know it's not possible to see it in this video, but a, an optical illusion, which, for those of you who have ever seen one of these gratings, when you hold it up to the light, there will appear a bubble about this far out when you walk back about eight feet or so and it will appear as though it were a holographic emanation and in fact it is holographic it is light hol uh, coming through these diffraction gratings and giving us a graphic I don't know anyway this circular pattern of diffraction on a nano scale these Bragg gratings are what they're making with graphene uh, terahertz resonators very 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 small terahertz is in the light wave frequencies uh, in the nanometer scale the wavelength visible light is approximately 400 to 800 or so nanometers very very limited scale that our eyes can see there is a point where electromagnetic radiation like radio waves, which then get smaller and become microwaves, which then get smaller and become infrared, terahertz radiation, infrared, then light, then uh, ultraviolet, x-rays, onward to gamma rays, and whatever's above that, they're not saying. So, you've seen the video RFID inside of me. And what I found inside of my cells and my blood is just this same pattern. This circular diffraction pattern. And as you can see, when I move the pattern, the light, uh, the position of the light moves. I know you're also seeing a reflection, but there's the circular position of the light that comes from the Bragg grating. Now, when microwaves, or rather terahertz radio waves, sub-terahertz, say point something 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 terahertz waves, uh, go through a very, very tiny nanoscale grating, they are forced into a particular pattern. And if that uh, space, that, that cavity, that they're forced through is a particular size, corresponding to a particular wavelength, they will resonate at that frequency, uh, thus creating interference patterns that will either uh, create a, a stronger waveform or a smaller waveform. My theory is that this technology works by bathing one in a radar-like uh, high-frequency emission modulated scheme and then picking up the refracted, deflected, and reflected radio pattern, the waveform pattern that emanates from the target. That pattern will have been forced through a particular scale Bragg grating to resonate at a particular frequency it has been tuned to. This is quantum dot technology, nanoscale crystals that vibrate at a certain frequency because of the crystalline lattice is a very particular shape and size. So, once the radio waves or sub-light uh, photonic emissions pass through this grating, they come out in a certain frequency pattern. Some of them being absorbed, some of them being reflected, some of them being enhanced by the interferometry. 
And that frequent that that pattern will also interfere with the brainwave pattern because they're harmonic frequencies. I'm just supposing now. And the reflected output of that input radio wave would be measured, quantified, demodulated, compared against a huge database of, of laboratory gained data, and decoded. Sounds doable to me, folks. But that's my theory on circular Bragg diffraction gratings. I don't know, there's a point where optics and radio become one, and, and nobody's really talking about that place where, where uh, transverse electromagnetic waves suddenly become photonic particles, discrete packets of quantum energy. Um, but there's a size. When we reduce things down to a particular size smaller than, than the electron uh, orbitals, constricted smaller, you get very interesting changes in material dynamics. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, have fun with your circular diffraction gratings.